everyone, Rascal here. And Mama, welcome to our channel, Pause on Animation. Today, we're covering something a little differently. We just covered the second season, the Shibuya arc of Jujutsu Kaisen recently and be out in a few weeks. Mm -hmm. So now we're coming to a discussion about something way further into the manga. We're going to talk about some theories on this channel. This is going to be the first of three videos since season two ended. There are lots of videos that have been made massive amounts on YouTube with their own theories about different things. But the three theories we have, we haven't seen anywhere. And we are really wanting to talk about them because as you know, within the last couple days, there has been the release of the current JJK volume in Japan. Right. Spoilers, huge spoilers for everyone and everyone else in the world. The DVDs have been released with extra footage not included when the original episodes aired on right, Crunchyroll. Right. And there's just so much going on that we want to discuss these three theories and how we think they play into what has been released recently. Right. But before we start, be sure to like, subscribe, and click the notification bell to get some future videos on our channels. Yes. And thank you so much for joining us. We appreciate you so much. Feel free to share these videos on your community tab and on social media. We really appreciate it because it helps out our channel a lot and us not being a big channel at this time it helps others to get to know us like you do thank right. you so much so in this video we want to talk about the parallels that led up to all the events that have been released as of today mm -hmm. with the manga being released in japan the current volume mm -hmm. and we saw parallels between gojo in the prison realm and megami locked in Sukuna and Soul. Yes. And these are things that just began to just unravel in our minds. And we thought, has anyone thought about these parallels and how there's differences? So this is the first thing we're going to discuss here. So for those of you who aren't familiar, the last thing we knew of before today was that Gojo was still in the prison realm. Mm-hmm. And they gave us a view of what the prison realm looked like. And he's surrounded by bones. He's still in his Jujutsu Kaisen uniform. Right. And it looks like he's being patient and waiting either to be released or he's going to get himself out. And that's where we were left off at. And then reading more books. Right now we're on volume 21. Right. We've got some more information. And then online, of course, you can read the chapters for free right it's on biz media yes and currently the chapters were up to the one prior to this one being released i think before 249 and in those chapters we learned that satchro gojo my gojo has been released yes and he goes into a battle with sukuna and sukuna is now in the body of megami and how yeah, that happened dun, dun, dun. it's pretty crazy we learned that Megami, well, Sukune in Megami's body killed Sukumi, his sister, yeah. who was actually being inhabited by uh, a woman from uh, Sukuna's past who uh, wanted to be with him. Just imagine that. Oh, yeah, that's good. Not good. Yorozu. And she was able to take over because of the curse that had been put on Sukumi. And the symbol that was on her hand that matched Sukuna's. Right. Well, Sukuna wanted to take her out, and he did in Megami's body. So why did he do this? Well, so that unlike Yuji, who is strong enough to not let him take over, he broke Megami because in Megami's mind, he has killed his sister. Well, we know he didn't do it. It was Sukuna, but Sukuna has him trapped, and now he seems to be have given up will the will to live and any hope and he's just depressed and just despondent about him thinking he's taking his sister out. Yeah. So both of them are in a prison realm of sorts. Mm -hmm. So first we'll talk about Gojo, who we saw get locked in the prison realm by Ghetto. Right. And he was in there for a set amount of time and for some viewers, they had to figure out just how long he's been in the realm within the manga. Because there's been a bit of confusion how long it's really been. 
because they count the how many days or weeks or months in the real world but time passes differently in the manga world especially when the chapters come out so it's actually been less amount of time than it has been in, re in the real world now before we get to that we'll remind you how he got trapped in Shibuya station he had used his abilities to take out a thousand um, souls that have been corrupted and so he could save the other people mm -hmm. and Jogo and the sorcerer uh, no Mahito oh thank yeah no no oh, Kenjaku yes Kenjaku thank you <laughs> devise a plan to get his mind off of being focused on what he was doing and to let his guard down so that he could be captured in the prison room right and that's what happened right and they did it by they did it by um Kenjaku appearing still as Gato because he hadn't revealed himself until this moment as there was a section for Gojo and come off guard long enough for the prison room to attach to him. Now the thing is, Gato thought that it was going to be over with at that time, but we know our Gojo. Right. One, he tried to get out. He right. couldn't, so then his eyes took over the eyes of the prison. And you could see his blue eye looking out everywhere. Right. And then the third thing he did was angered himself. Prison realm couldn't be moved for quite some time. Right. And he said, I'm going to have to stay here a while because I've never seen this before. Yeah. But I can't move it. Right. So the differences in both of these is the parallel between, again, Gojo and Megami. Gojo is expecting to get out. Yeah. He's waiting for an opportunity or he's waiting for someone to let him out. Clearly, once we see his release form, right. he's been in there doing something. He had to be meditating, working out, getting right. himself prepared because he looks big and buff, totally different than when he went in. Right. But you can see he gave up hope. He never gave up. He didn't just give up the will to live. Right. Now, part of it may have been to do with what I'm going to call him fake ghetto said. <laughs> that, oh, I'm not going to kill you. I'm yeah. just going to keep in here for about a thousand years, and then I'll let you out. Yeah, no. <laughs> so, one thing could have been, okay, he knows that he wasn't going to be taken out. So, that means I have an opportunity to get out of here. And we know Gojo, and we know how brilliant he is in terms of being tactical mm -hmm. and having full use of his abilities, knowing others' abilities, just being an expert at doing that. Right. And people did figure he was going to get out at some point, but the problem was to know how long it was going to take. It's just like when it took forever to finally reveal a UA trainer in MHA and it was years. And luckily it wasn't years for the manga fans, but it was still a heck of an amount of time because as soon as Gojo was sealed, these people kind of got to do whatever they want. So kind of got to just rain terror and so did all these other curses on Shibuya and now that stuff is spread towards other parts of the city so it's become a nearly free-for-all with him sealed but now that he's out the thing is now it's really just Sukuna and Kenjaku left over there really aren't any curses left the main ones that are with them either got taken out by Sukuna or Kenjaku got rid of them himself or Gojo got rid of them so it's really not only two curses left there in the series and they're both so evil and so powerful that it may take more than just go to the beat them right now gojo was sealed in the story 19 days yeah but in our world it was three, oh, three years. years right so a lot happened within those 19 days and again within that period megami his body was taken over by sukuna and he's trapped in sukuna's soul Gojo never gave up. He expected to get out. There was no doubt he was going to get out, and he did. Megami, on the other hand, has been broken by Sukuma. And yes, you can say that he's young. Maybe that's why yeah. it's one reason it's easy to do it. He also knows what happened to Gojo before being locked in Sukuna's soul. Right. And also, he doesn't know if he's gotten out or not right. at the point before he did battle with Gojo. Right. And so, yes, you can attribute that to that. Everyone he's known is going to be gone because, as we know now, Maki has taken out the Zenon clan. Right. So, at the point in that story, it was just Maki and Megami left, and now we know Maki's gone. Right. So, he's literally the last Zenon left, and Sukumi's gone. So, the entire clan 
except for Mega Me, has been wiped out at yeah, this point. At this point. Now, we're hoping, of course, Yuji gets him out. We hope he gets him out. We don't know at this point because we haven't read or seen what's happening. We're doing this prior to learning that. Right. But the parallel is that in Gojo's realm, you saw him surrounded by the skeletons and, and skulls of others who have been locked in and never gotten out. They just died. Yeah. And again, you can see him smiling. You can see him figuring out what to do. You can see that he was strong and he wasn't going to give up. He was going to get out. Right. If you think about Sukuna's soul and his realm, whenever you would see him sitting in it, he's mm -hmm. on uh, a throne of bones, yes, literally. Same thing, but he's got blood also in that realm. Mm -hmm. From what we've learned, he bathes in that blood to replenish and keep his power strong. Uh. So this is where Megami is. They're in the same type of atmosphere, the same environment surrounded by death, the death of others. Yeah. The difference is Gojo has a positive mental attitude that he's going to get out, and Megami has been stripped to the lowest common denominator yeah. by grief, depression, and what has happened. Now, here's the thing that we've been thinking of. Let's just say this is the way that Gege intended for this to be written, mm -hmm. and people are focusing more on what he's done to Gojo. And the turn of events will be Megami gets out. But here's the thing. Who's to say he's going to be Megami? Right. He broke him. He's broken his soul. He's destroyed him. He knows Gojo is gone now because yeah. Gojo's being taken out of his hand, right. in his mind. But it's also, because he's being sunk in his realm, and because of the the bath that the powers can be uh, rejuvenated and he can keep strong, right. what if they taint Megami? Or what if right. Megami decides to start using that and he takes control back mm. and gets rid of Sukuna. He may not yeah. be the same Megami. Knowing that right. everybody in his family is gone. At this point, he Gojo is still gone. Yeah. And maybe his soul has been corrupted mm -hmm. by the realm he's in, the Sukuna yeah. soul. He might be just, you know, depressed now. And he might be and evil. Broken and, yeah, like, yeah. there's no use. Yeah, it might be those points they get with characters that's common unfortunately with some of these mangas where the characters are such in a low state of depression that they can quickly do things that will just end things well, we'll just right. the cleanest thing to say that and they're pretty quick to do it so we're hoping that it doesn't lead to that because it would be really unfortunate that we're getting to the end of the manga and just about everyone is gone and we're gonna be left with Yuji that would be pretty bad well we love Yuji point is we want everyone else there too now maybe Megami his desire will be to get revenge on Sukuna mm -hmm. so then who does Sukuna go to if Megami gets rid of him mm -hmm. does he go back to Yuji or does he find someone else that's the question on top of that we don't know if Gojo's coming back mm -hmm. everyone's suspecting he's done it before he can do it again but we have a video that's coming out on that as well on our theories right in in regards to how he was taken out, why he was taken out, and what could be coming. Right. So stay tuned for that within a few days of this one. Right. But in this, we're really hoping, of course, they're able to save Megami, but then where does Sukuna go again? Right. And how will Megami be when he gets out? Will he be Megami just broken? Or will he yeah. be evil, wanting to get revenge on Sukuna? Yeah, and you really don't want this to happen to Megami, but it could go that route considering how brutal it's gotten with dealing with Sukuna and now it's constantly wearing on his body. That could definitely have an effect. Or will he possibly team up with Yuji and he gets control based on the way we mentioned mm -hmm. by getting power from the blood Sukuna has been ba bathing in in his realm, right. his soul realm. And then maybe he will join with Yuji mm -hmm. and they both eradicate him. We yeah, are, of course, something. looking forward to see what's happened. Mm -hmm. We don't like our heroes this way. We don't like our heroes being killed. We don't like the characters we come to love being taken out. But we're yeah. not the writers. Gay Gay is. So, yeah, what yeah. are your thoughts mm -hmm. on this? Do you think our theory has merit? Let us know in the comments. Right. And if you have theories of your own regarding this and you can point out some things you think maybe we've overlooked or we don't know about that make this an impossibility, let us know as well. 
But the main purpose of this video was to discuss the parallels between Gojo and Megami in the realms they're in and how they handled being in those realms. Yes. And don't forget to like, subscribe, and click the notification bell to get some future videos on the channel. Absolutely. And again, thank you so much for joining us for this special video. We've really been excited about talking in these. Stay tuned for our second theory mm -hmm. that has to do with the events that are going on now. Yes. Thanks so much for watching. Rascal Entertainment. And I'm Mom Entertainment. Have a fantastic day. Peace.